We back. Uh, I don't think you guys was expecting Dallas to really kick ass today. A lot of y'all was acting like y'all was ready, but I don't think y'all was really ready for this crucial beating that the Timberwolves ended up taking today, bro. This shit is crazy. I was looking at the score and just like, I just couldn't even believe my eyes. Uh, Luca all over the damn floor, bro. Yeah, All over the damn floor, bro. What was you thinking, bro, while you was watching this shit? Because, like I said, I know a lot of people didn't think it was going to turn out the way that it turned out, bro, at all. Man, it was fantastic, bro. I'll tell you. I just knew. Man. I mean, the first quarter, that nigga Luca dropped 20. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he <laughs> ready to get that shit over with. And yeah, I just, yeah. I just felt the. South Dallas, I felt some some Dougie in there, some Shad's going to be in full effect, my boy. Facts. Facts. They calling him Oak Cliff Luca right now. Hmm. You know, he, he he just he just been taking over, bro. He, he didn't do no plan and neither did Kyrie. Hmm. Um, I can't take anything away from that game, you know, yeah. on tonight. You know, they came out and they came out to end shit today, and that's exactly – what yeah. happened? Um, there was a whole lot of shit that was being said. Hold on, yeah, there was, there was a whole lot of shit being said, and I don't know what happened to Ed. You know, I mean, he was he was there. He showed up, but um, it just I don't think it really went the way that he wanted it to go at all. I mean, well, let's kind of look at it. He ended the night with – well, he, he pretty much almost had a 30 ball. I, I got to give it to him. He was doing his thing. But good moves and and nice dunks was was not what y'all needed today. Y'all was going to need way more than that. You know what I mean? One thing about Dallas Mavericks, bro, they really did look like – bro, they looked like a, a real franchise team, bro. Like they, they looked like a real championship team. They looked like they really wanted it. It kind of put me in the mind frame of the Warriors. Just got to keep it 100, man. Just the way that they were just coming back to back with the threes. Man, they were best friends with the three-pointers on tonight. Y'all hit that like button, man. Hit that darn subscribe button. They were all over the three-point line, bro. Shit is crazy. Shit's yeah. crazy as hell. Uh, P.J. Washington for 12. I think P.J. could have did a little bit better, but he still did good. He knocked down a couple of threes, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Um, Kyrie Irving, 36 points, 36 points. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't playing with him. Luca, 36 points. They didn't come to play, bro. They didn't come to play. You know, I, I, I don't know what to say about this other than, I mean, K Towns, he, he, he did his thing, 28 points, but bro, that shit wasn't enough. They took off. You know, thirty point lead. Yeah, it was, it was, it was getting nasty. But I mean, uh, I mean, it, it couldn't really do much. Like when they asked him after the game, he was like, "Yo, Luca hit like three threes in a row in the first quarter." He was like, "We was playing defense. He just hit them all. We can't do nothing about that." So no, you couldn't. <laughs> I mean, you could do something about that, and that's respond. Yeah. <laughs> you, they didn't do any responding. You know, um, yeah. they were getting the joy and comparing. That's not to throw you off of what you're saying. I just got to keep it real. You know, when somebody says something like, man, yeah, they knocked down like a thousand three-pointers, man. I tried to – man, <laughs> listen, your ass is either finna sit up there and ball out or you finna get balled on. Tonight, it got balled on. Those – those uh, smooth ass lines and shit, them hoes didn't work today. You know what I mean? <laughs> For real, yeah. just get gotta keep it real, yeah. bro. They, that shit didn't work today. I got two takes. I got a take for the Wolves in Dallas. I mean, the Wolves is pretty much coaching is why they lost this whole series because uh, they kept playing Rudy Gay in that stupid ass drop and. Can't play no drop covers with Kyrie and and, and Luca. They searching for Rudy. Like they coach should have been made adjustments to take Rudy out the game, put Cat at the five, 
and put Nas Reed and Kyle Anderson in more because then every, at that point you can switch everything. But he didn't make them type of adjustments. I don't know if, if it was because he didn't want to mess up Rudy Pride or Rudy going to be upset because he the only one they be tripping on that team, obviously. But right. they should have took Rudy out. They Because, like, the first three games, they was all close. It was just club. It was just Luke and Kyrie. They closed it. So right. it's coaching why they was in this position. Why they they should have already been one, one of the right. two first two games. But Thanks. they nigga ain't make no good adjustments. And then Dallas, I mean, uh, but shout out to Ant though because Ant did what he was supposed to do. He wasn't letting them niggas get swept. To be honest, that nigga Ant took some bum ass niggas. It took these niggas to the Western Conference Finals because Carl Anthony Towns been on that team for years, about eight years, ain't did shit. So he really, <laughs> just, he, he really just, to be honest, that nigga was like, he took these niggas and was like, I'm a rock, y'all gonna rock with me, and I'm a rock, y'all gonna follow me. And he led right. these niggas to the Western Conference Finals. They ain't been there in 20 years. So you can't really. They can't put the blame on him, bro, because he can't do everything, bro. Like no, they can't. Him. They can't put the they can't put the blame on. Him. But I will say, you know, he he has you know showed up, and at this point, he's pretty much the team captain, and um, you know, he did a lot of trash talking. You know, and yeah. when you do a lot of trash talking, your ass is gonna have to back it up, bro. You, I mean, you playing Dallas, you know, you playing a good team, and and I, and I honestly think that. You know the trash talk and 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 things like that. This shit is good for basketball. All right, this shit was great, and I like Definitely. you know I like I like that competitive nature. Tyler, However, shit, bro. Huh? Niggas, yeah, definitely. I'm saying niggas are tired of that buddy buddy shit and like. Yeah, I like I like it. you know what I'm saying. Come on with the. I like the competitive nature, man. I like it. Yeah. I, I feel like it. It's, it's guys like him that's making the NBA fun and things like that. However, you're going to have to sit up there and respond accordingly. And I just think that, you know what I mean, they, they got balled out. And shout out to uh, Anthony Edwards because he is the one that sat up there, man, and held them up. You know, he's the one that kept them in the game. Uh, wasn't looking too good. I mean, that we, Dallas went down there and kicked ass two games straight. You know what I mean? Came back home. You dig, and they lost that game, and um, and that and that was a damn good game. It wasn't like they just, it wasn't like they got blown out like the Timberwolves got blown out tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they just lost, you know, and um, and it was a good game. However, you know, going back down there to Minnesota and losing right there at home, bro, three times. It's just, bro, that shit was that shit was trash. Like I said, Towns did his thing. He showed up. He, he scored 28, uh, 28 points. Um, Anthony Edwards showed up. He did his thing. He scored, uh, I think, what was it, 26. Um, he did his thing. The numbers were there, bro. But we need more than Anthony and, and Towns, you know what I mean, over there uh, in Minnesota. I will say that. So hopefully, you know, come uh, draft time, you know, they get somebody that can help Anthony Edwards because, you know, I mean, shit, he, he needs some help. He's a, he's a damn good player. You know, he's a damn good player. But right now, it's just not, you know, their time. But listen, um, I will say this, though, you know what I'm saying, just to go, just, just, to, just to keep on going. <laughs> uh, I, I believe that, you know, one thing that Dallas don't need is – Michael Parsons at any game, okay? <laughs> because Michael Parsons is the reason why Dallas lost. Truth be told, Timberwolves should have been swept. You know what I mean? Hit the hit the like button if you're a Dallas fan. Um, the Timberwolves should have been swept. We should have ended that in Dallas, right? <laughs> However, Michael Parsons came over here and was on some cloud chasing shit. You know what I mean? And this is the reason why Dallas lost that game. They do not need Michael Parsons clout chasing ass at any more games. You know what I'm saying? Just got to keep that shit a buck. He came over there with the Anthony Edwards shoes. 
You know what I'm saying? And it was and shout out to the shoes because the shoes is clean. You know what I mean? The shoes is clean. You know what I mean? However, bro, you either going for Dallas folk or you going for the Timberwolves. And to you guys that are not Dallas fans, of course, y'all going to be like, well, man, you know, he's he just a fan of the sport. That's cool. But, nigga, you play for the Dallas Cowboys and you're in Dallas. But you cannot come over here with no with the op shoes on. You know what I mean? You can't do that. And on top of that, them big ass shoes didn't even go with the fit. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. You can't do this in the D. But that right. damn jersey did not go with the fit. You know what I mean? At, at all. I mean, them shoes did not go with the fit at all, bro. You can't do this. So this was embarrassing. You know, on all levels. And this is one of the innumerable reasons why Dallas lost that game. We do not need Micah Parsons, I repeat, we do not need Micah Parsons at any um, Dallas Mavericks game, especially during the damn finals. We do, we don't need Micah Parsons. Michael Parsons, no. stay your ass at home. Bro, yeah, I just want to say that. that. You know what I mean? He got that bow wow effect. <laughs> Bro, he had that bow wow effect. We don't need him there. He needs to stay the fuck home. You know what I mean? And I'm speaking on the behalf of all Dallas fans. Michael Parsons, stay your ass at home. Matter of fact, don't come back. He went up. Bro, come on. You got on Anthony Edwards' shoes, which were clean. Shout out to Anthony Edwards. And then you got on the Dallas jersey. You going over there like a fan trying to get your damn um, jersey signed by Dirk. Bro, you don't do this. You running over there in the op shoes. To get an autograph uh, by Dirk? Are you crazy? You know what I'm saying? Did you not see that damn um, statue outside of the damn arena, bro? Of uh, fucking Dirk the Whiskey? You going to sit up there and bring your Anthony Edwards shoes with your Dallas Cowboys playing ass? Boy, don't you ever come over there no more. We don't need you there. Stay your ass in Frisco or motherfucking Arlington or something, motherfucker. We don't need you, Dad. I just sit up there and say that, man. Shout out to Michael Parsons. I like Michael Parsons, but motherfucker, stay your ass at home. Facts. He got that jersey at Grapevine Mall. Man, yeah, he did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably parked or something around the building. You know what I'm saying? Stay your ass at home, fam. Like I said, bro, I'm speaking on the behalf of Dallas natives, motherfucking Dallas fans, new Dallas fans, Dallas fans that just... Uh, popped up 30 minutes ago. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Stay your ass at home. And that's just real. You know, you should have just, you should have been there. You should have been there for the damn uh, Timberwolves tonight. Just keeping it a buck. You know what I mean? They might have got that win. What the fuck? Like, but anyway. Anyway, man. But, yeah, but it's, Dallas is, is, is up, though. I didn't, it's I didn't definitely. Definitely. I didn't know them trades y'all made at the at the at the deadline when y'all got Gafford and Washington. I ain't really think too much of it, but that shit so that that shit so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da now. Dallas, Dallas is doing good today, uh, or right now at least. And Shaq predicts that you know Dallas is going to win the NBA Finals. Now I don't know how true that is. Um, one thing that we cannot sit up there. And forget is that Boston Celtics are Boston Celtics, bro. Like they, they come and they gon' ball. All right, they come and they gon' ball. You know what I mean? Hit that like button, man, for the Boston Celtics. Um, oh yeah, hold on, hold on, YP. Let's the, let the people see who you rocking with, bro. That's what I got, bro. One hundred. Oh, you feel me, Jason Kidd? You did when he was. You on did. The fly, you did. You dig? Hey, that's a fire jersey. But, you know, what? Let me let me say this too. I'm glad that you showed that jersey again. Um, Wappy made a point whenever he said that you know the coaching for the Timberwolves is you know they need some adjustments made, right? And one thing that Dallas has, bro, is somebody who has been in the NBA Finals before. Okay. And that's going to be Jason Kidd. Okay, Jason Kidd has been in these moments before, bro. So to sit up there, bro, and go against his coaching right now, bro, it's going to be hard to win. 
it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for Boston to win because y'all are going against Jason Kidd. <laughs> y'all are crazy. Y'all are right. going against Jason Kidd as well. It's almost like he's playing too. Do you feel me? He's been in these moments. Do y'all not realize the love that this nigga gonna get from Dallas if he won it? For, he won the championship. The only championship Dallas had. He was on the team with Dirk thirteen years ago. So if he turned shit. around. He turned around and come back and did win as a coach of the Dallas. Bro, bro, come bro. on, that nigga go. He he got to get his statue out there, bro. Cause. Yes. Come on, man. Like, he for, gonna be forever loved in that city, bro. But forever. one thing, y'all niggas, I'm tired of seeing you, you Stephen A. Smith niggas, y'all niggas talking about y'all owe Kyrie an apology. The only reason y'all owe that nigga an apology is because y'all was playing on that nigga top when it was that COVID shit, and y'all was fucking with that nigga beliefs, and y'all tried to make it seem like he was a distraction. But that shit never changed from what that nigga do on the court. He been playing like this since he was with LeBron. So I don't like the narrative that y'all going to try to put out there about that boy like he a distraction or he a bad teammate. Like, nigga, yeah. it is life beyond basketball, bro, and that's all that nigga be doing. But on the court, you can't say nothing about Kyrie, bro. That nigga is the most – skillful player that ever touched the fucking basketball. So y'all niggas like Stephen A. Smith and all you white media people who was t- always had something, to- y'all owe that nigga an apology. And y'all need to do that shit publicly since y'all was out here tarnishing that nigga name publicly too a couple years ago. This, I agree. Come out, this is a redemption tour. It ain't really a, re- it's a redemption tour. That's what they want to paint the narrative because they want it to be his redemption tour so they can do their apology so they can fit their narrative. But to be honest, that nigga Kyrie been doing the same shit since for a minute. Y'all niggas are just being weird. Right. And he know that shit, and that's why he don't really – he ain't going to say that shit out loud, but he already know what time it is. But that nigga, right. I really want Kyrie to win another ring, so that's really why I got Dallas in six. Facts. You got Dallas in six? I got Dallas. I got Luka and Kyrie in six, bro. Boston ain't played no – like, you know, they play who was in front of them. They can't help it that who they play had got injuries or half the, the – one of the stars wasn't playing. Like, they did what they were supposed to do, but they wasn't tested. They didn't play nobody. So you yeah. ain't played nobody for three series, and you finna come play these two <laughs> niggas. Dallas. You finna come play Dallas, and them niggas is on they, – they on the roll. Like, they at the top of their game. Like, Y'all oh, niggas, that game one, that game one gonna be something serious. It is. And, and, and one thing about um what I give the edge on Dallas simply because you know Dallas has been balling. You know what I'm saying? One thing about the Celtics, they've been in one and things like that, they've been chilling. But Dallas has been balling, bro. Like they haven't really stopped balling and they really haven't had a time to really just chill and relax and just soak in the fact that, you know. Hey, man, they they just haven't had time to really just relax, okay? But the Celtics have. And so I feel like, man, that's just one edge that I believe that Dallas has, you know, over the Celtics right now. But still, man, you know, I mean, that one-two punch over there in Boston is nothing to fucking play with, bro. You can't underestimate, you know, Jason Tatum, man, and Brown over there, bro. (laughs) It's going to be tough. I'm a Tatum fan, too. I'm a Tatum fan. Right on. Yeah, he's goaded. You know, he's goaded. He's definitely he goaded. He do be fuck like he do be coming up small pause when it's uh crunch time though. Right. He came up Look real about Luca, bro. Yeah. Luca. No, you good, but Luca's just been he's just been unstoppable lately. Him and Kyrie, bro, that that duo is different, bro. It's just Facts. different, man. Facts. Yeah. Man, when man, it's man, closing man. time, bro, like I'm not, e- I'm watching the games. I'm not even on the court. I'm watching the game as a fan. But when it's closing time and they trying to hit shots to go ahead, nigga, I'm like every time that nigga Lucas shoot or Kyrie shoot, I'm like, damn, my stomach <laughs> drop. Like I'm playing because I'm like, yeah. I know that shit going in, bro. So I can only <laughs> imagine the niggas that they playing on the court. Like, fuck, right. bro, you just gotta hope the nigga miss, bro. Man, I'm trying when to tell he you. Cooked, when he cooked Rudy, 
when he on that game three, I was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I don't. It don't matter what that nigga put up. That shit's going in. That nigga cooked Fact. the shit out, of that nigga, and I knew that shit was going in, bro. Bro, he cooked booty. <laughs> he, I mean, he cooked booty. Man, bro. That's why I don't. Uh, I don't give a damn. But that's why I ain't really like. To be honest, I feel like the Celtics got a better team. Because defenders, they got two way defenders, so they could just switch. But at the end of the day, right. nigga, you can't. Nobody's stopping Luca. Nobody's gonna speed him up. Nobody gonna change his pace. He gonna do. He gonna get whatever shot he wanna do. Now you might tire that nigga out. Yeah, I do believe that Boston is gonna go at him on defense and, and For sure. like force him to do shit. Because Minnesota, sure. they didn't. Minnesota didn't go at him on defense, so he had a lot of energy, but. I right. just feel like this nigga Luca been doing this shit against grown men since he was 13. So, like, this is what this nigga do, bro. And then I'm just glad that he finally hit the stage. He done made the finals. So, like, because they was always talking yes. about he great, he great, he great. But when is he going to punch that ticket? So, I feel like he get the ticket, he not going to lose, bro. Like, he know what the, what's at stake. He's not going to lose that, bro. I agree. Um I, I really just don't see I don't see Luca passing up this opportunity to get the ring, bro. I, I just don't see it. And and I, I just I just don't. There's no way that he's about to let this moment slip. Absolutely not, bro. You know what I'm saying? Luca is about to get that ring. Kyrie, he's about to get that. How many rings does Kyrie have, bro? He got one. He got one? Yeah. This is, he's about to have two. I don't see them allowing this this moment to slip up, bro. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? So we here for a long while, but I need y'all to get in the comment section and y'all let us know who do y'all think is going to win the NBA Finals. And we'll start off with game one, all right? Who do y'all think is going to win game one, all right? Just, we're just talking about game one, all right? So get in the comment section, put game one, and then who you think is going to win, Okay. Just, just to start this bitch off, who you think is gonna win? So Boston fans is crucial too. They are terrible. Like they, they ride so hard for their Boston boy. They, they some racist fucks too. They, they tough, bro. So they tough. If you got some Boston people, you know what I'm saying. Go ahead, like bro said, tap in on the tap comment. In. I know, I know y'all there. Tap yeah, in. Y'all, y'all bleed green with y'all shit. So yeah. Yeah, it is, it's personal with Kyrie too because y'all was talking shit about him when he left Boston, so that's another thing. Facts. Too. So he he, he really got some shit coming. He he come back to, to take care of business because y'all was talking bad about his ass when he left. Facts. You know they they don't like him. He one thing um, about Kyrie is that he will get booed when he goes down there to Boston. He, he's he's going to get booed every time he touches the fucking uh, ball. Yeah. They're going to boo the shit out of him. But it, but he knows this. Okay, this isn't, this isn't the first time that Kyrie has been here, man. Okay? He's a vet at this point. I, I got to yeah. give it to you, bro. He's he's a young vet right now. And it's, it's, it's about to go down, bro. <laughs> it's about to go down, man. And we're going to be here... Every night during the NBA Finals. All right, I know y'all wanted us here. You know, uh, uh, all of the other games and things like that, bro. Now nah, we'll be here every game for the finals. So y'all want to make sure that y'all tune in. We are back. Hit that like button. Hit that damn subscribe button. Let us know who the hell do you think is gonna win. Y'all heard why P? Why P? Why P? Think that you know Mavs. Is gonna win it uh, in six. They ain't let them in the door. It's over. Yeah. Y'all let them in the door. It's over, man. Uh, who do you think is gonna win game one, though? I got. I got it. Dallas. Got Dallas? I think Dallas will win the game one. That's just me. One hundred. I think Luka came out I'm, the gate not bullshitting. We ain't facts. around. Facts. I, my whole thing is. I wonder where game one is going to be. It's in Boston. It's in Boston? Yeah, Boston got home. You positive? Yeah. Because they go off of who had the better record when it's East and West. So Boston was number one seed. So they got the 
they it's in Boston. First two games. Oh, shit. And Boston, y'all, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all players, I'm pretty sure y'all Boston players don't want you Boston fans to be giving no edges, talking shit in the media, like basically egging that nigga Kyrie on because you don't poke the bear. That's what you don't do. No, nah, don't do that. I, 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 don't poke the bear because you know Boston fans will do no, that do shit. That. They'll talk that shit. Make it don't have signs in the arena and shit. Yep. Yep. But listen, man. <laughs> y'all don't want to play with Kai. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. You don't want to play with Kai. Will Shaq be right? That's the question, man. Will Shaq be right? <laughs> Shaq, he predicted that these guys will win the finals, and here they are. So, uh, it's just that's just what we got, man. Dallas, Boston, hit that like button right now. I'll see y'all.